All right. So give us an example so Sean, of what's going on. All right, we're in the car right now. We're heading from Miami to Orlando. Got a couple tickets here. And, uh, you know, I want to take this one ticket here and see if we can actually do it in the car. Okay. All right, here we go. All right, so we've we got the first step. we got to open it up. Make sure we've got service type on it. All right, it's a software-related ticket. It needs help with Microsoft Office. Let's flip that status to new so the customer will get a notification. All right. Let's scroll down here. Let's assign a resource. Put myself on the ticket. All right. So now I'm officially assigned to do the work on this ticket. Customer has been notified that the ticket is, you know, we're ready to rock and roll. All right. So now let's take our handy phone over here. Well, actually, let's go to level platforms first and make sure that you know, we're going to have direct access into this machine. Sean, can you tell us where you're clearing this ticket from? Well, oh, where I'm processing the ticket? Yeah. I'm processing the ticket in ConnectWise. Awesome. Okay. All right. So we got our while driving in a car going through Miami. Exactly. Exactly. And we're not driving right now, by the way. I mean, okay. So now I'm back in level platforms now, and I'm going to go to that customer, and I'm going to find this woman happens to be on a thin client. So I'm, I'm doing a little bit of you know doing the the the, the head work first. I'm going to make sure I can jump right into her machine. So her name is Mary. So she's on a thin client. Okay, here we go. Mary Dominguez. Okay, so here's her computer. So I can click on the machine, and I think we're going to be able to just jump right into it with a remote control. Okay, so we're going to use VNC. Okay, let's see, just make sure we get the splash screen before we call her. Because we are in the car here, and this is like, you know, we're really pushing the edge of remote support. Mm, looks like it's going to work. Okay, so before we just jump in her machine without her permission, let's give her a call. We need a speaker for me. Hi, this is Sean Furman calling. Can I speak with Mary Dominguez, please? Hi, Sean. One sec. Okay. Hi. Okay. Alright. So this is the woman who sub submitted the ticket. Hey Mary, Sean Furman calling. How are you? Good, how are you? I'm doing well today. Doing well. I have food in my mouth, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, that's okay. That's okay. Sorry. I mean, um, so I was calling about the ticket about the additional mailboxes, and uh, I was wondering if we could take a look at that. Yeah, give me your right now. Okay, just give me one moment here. Okay, so I'm in your machine right now. Let's see, let's take a look at Outlook. Now, are you driving or am I driving? No, I'm not touching anything. Oh, okay. Outlook just got closed, so... Did you close that? Or did that no. just... No. Uh, no, I didn't touch anything. Oh, uh, okay. Um, am I looking at your screen right now? It says Cami is out. Um, yeah, because uh, I just saved this, though. You want to oh, okay. out of it? Yeah, can you just open Outlook for me real quick? Okay. I'll just let you do some driving. All right, let's see. Now, normally it's in there and... Oh, that's interesting. Gone, huh. Except for one. Okay, let's go ahead and add those back in. So we're going to go to Tools, and then we're going to go to add Account Settings, and then we're going to uh, click Change, and then we're going to go to More Settings, and then Advanced, and then wow. add, and then you're just going to add in, let's add in each person. What we're going to do, once we finish this, I'll have you close Outlook, and uh, we'll reopen it. We're actually in the car right now. We're headed. We're headed from uh, Miami to Orlando. You are now. Yeah, and I'm. I'm. Oh. I'm helping you from the car. It's oh, okay. Amazing technology, isn't it? Yeah, I was gonna say you sound a little bit different. Yeah, I'm on my cell. So go ahead and let's add in those people. Okay. You can just type um, their first name and then hit OK. You don't have to type their last name; just their first name. And then you can hit okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, just their first name will, and if there's more than one of, uh, if there's one, more than one person that has the same first name, it'll ask you who you're talking about. Okay. Um. How's the weather up there? Um, it's not that bad. I mean, the temperature definitely dropped. So I mean, but I guess it's supposed to be because it's winter. Cool. Because today was crazy. 
like busy with work or a busy temperature? Uh, it was, I said it was crazy because it was so windy here. Oh, wow. Wow. That, I, I, yeah, I got to, I've been, when did I get here? I got here Monday night. The airport lost power and we almost didn't get here. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, it was wild. Yeah, I think there were like 40 miles per hour. Wow, that's, yeah. that's really windy. Yeah, I know. I, I, I'm with you. I'm with you. I mean, Miami, I'm lucky to be down here right now. I'm just traveling around with one of my vendors. We're doing some, we're doing a road show talking about, you know, how we use the product. So it's, it's, uh, it's a great, you know, it's great to <laughs> take a break from the, from New Jersey. Yeah, <laughs> that's a good idea. Okay, I'm, I'm done. Okay, so let's hit okay. Okay. And then let's go ahead and hit next. Mm-hmm. And then let's hit finish. And then close. And let's go ahead and, I mean, are you in a position where I can ask you to just log off of Windows and log back in? Because I just want to make sure that you get all the mailboxes when you log back in. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, I can do that. Okay, let's just do that to double check and make sure that you're definitely, uh, definitely good to go before I... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. You're going to get to log on prompt right now, and then just go ahead and log back in, and then you'll be good to go. I mean, you should be. I think what happened last time is that this uh, Outlook might have, you might have had an issue with Outlook, and it didn't save the settings, but we'll see right now. I mean, if you can log off and log back in, and uh, you, you get the mailboxes again, then I think you'll be ready to go. Now, did you, did you hit, I, I think you hit log off. Okay, so I got, I got kicked out, but I'm going to go ahead and connect again. Oh, they're in there? Excellent. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, it was uh, great working with you, and uh, I will talk to you soon. Thank you. Enjoy yourself. Oh, thank you. Yeah, it's not all pleasure. We're working down here. (laughs) We'll try to have some fun. Yep. Yeah, we're in the car right now. Uh, Hopefully, we'll... We got three more... What, three more hours? Yeah, three hours. Three hours to go. All right. (laughs) Okay. Take care, Mary. (laughs) Thank you. Bye-bye now. Bye-bye. That's how we do it. I mean, I mean, let's let's go ahead and just. I mean, the key thing here now is that you know that that help desk relationship. I mean, that 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 that's everything. I mean, getting to. I mean, I, I know her. I know her by her first name. You know, it's like we have that. Like, I mean, I, I want to be as tight as I can with our customers. So now what I'll do is I'll go ahead and just hit this time. You know, I'll enter my time up against the ticket. So this way, you know, everyone will be notified. Um, so, you know, I'll say I worked with Mary to add the additional mailboxes back into Outlook, and I had her log off and log back on to verify that they are present. And then, you know, I started that ticket at 129, which it already knows because that's when we started it. And then I click on the time icon, and then it's, you know, it took me 10 minutes to do it. And then I'll say it was remote support. And this gives me meaning to remote support. <laughs> no charge. And then we'll change the status of the ticket to completed. So the, you know, the people who, the decision makers in the company will see, you know, the people, our points of contact will know that we completed the ticket. And then I'll save it. And then what's really neat that you can do, or well, at the, I mean, at this point, that you can see that, you know, I just got an email saying it was completed, my team got an email, and then the customer got notified, and that's the whole loop right there. So, that's how you can do it in the car. <laughs>